the way I see Grand Champion May Day through history, it was um, different than everything during his times. He, I, I called him many times uh, an asteroid that came from another planet and hit planet Earth. Um, real American people territory. There were real American people territories. And, and I'll talk about what's real. And I will quickly tell you, real is the brand. And there were many, many bloodlines. But there was a, a website of Grand Champion Mayday, which I now I own, by the way. And this, this thing about Grand Champion Mayday is everyone that had a bloodline and had a, their own brand, mm -hmm. they gave the owner, friend of mine, of Mayday, one of their beaches, the one that they tried their dogs with Mayday. And it was incredible because it was it was made in the center on the page and you have made it all the females from all these top uh, dogmen, breeders, respected people within the community of people that had dogs, game dogs at the time. And it was an indicator that everybody wanted to cross themselves with Mayday. And that's what happens when you have a powerful brand and Mayday created their powerful brand, his powerful brand to performance. He was bred incredibly. He came from two different ends, that each one of these ends were developed by a group of men and a man, which is Hollingsworth, and then the Tan and uh, 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 Car Cruz and, 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 and Mr. Burns and Fletcher Chavez. All these came this way, and then you have Patrick, and then you have uh, Hollingsworth. And this group of men of high standards clash, and this explosion created May Day. And his power of production was unbelievable. I mean, I remember in the Bronx, New York, and I'm in an 161st Street, and I'm handling Chanel on one end of the Conkers, and handling Chanel herself. That was about 1998 or something like that. I'm handling Chanel, and, and Hunch is becoming a champion as well, on the other side of the Conkers, right by Jerome Avenue and 161st. So Chanel became champion first, he became champion after, and the whole world was looking at this, and they were like, whoa. And then you had all these different sons of May, they coming from all over the world, I mean, all over the United States, and the world said, they look at their dogs and said, we're not on the level. So the guys that had the black dogs and stuff, they all quickly started getting away of those dogs, giving them away, selling them, and they started replanting themselves with Grand Champion May Day dogs. And May they flew to Ecuador, it was in Ecuador already at the time actually. The thing about this is, this is not the first time that something happened when everybody flocks into this super stud dog. He is the breed. At that moment, that super stud dog, what everybody wants, it becomes the breed, it becomes the brand. All the other dogs, they'll diminish and disappear with time. So that's why the breed is always, and May Day was the breed between 1996 94 because the owner was working with the dogs, my dear friend VA. And by 2000, the brand was Mayday. If you didn't have a Mayday dog, you were worth nothing. And so then some, some events happened, whatever. His people want to make decisions who was the best son to breed to, which was the way best way to breed to, whether it was 50, 50 percent, 25, blah, 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 and now cross, battle cross. All these ideas were being thrown around. And I was watching patiently and I already had made out my mind that it was May Day in the center with the Tombstone Bully Red Bull Jacket as a combination but I was bringing something else into it and it was Honey Bunch but I wasn't doing what everybody else was doing. I was bringing the Ronnie Dogs and I was bringing the Ronnie Dogs out of uh, Honey Bunch and, 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 and he came here and he worked perfectly for me. I It, it wasn't cheap because I tried all sons of Mayday, they were great and they were good. They were good, but their production was not great. And I didn't have the time to waste. I wanted a great, I wanted it one bullet that was better than everybody. You know, all those dogs were good, but they were not great. And I found that what I was looking for. I found that missing piece, that had everything. And it was hidden in a place in the hands of a sassy boy. And I was able to go see the dog and I, I would have to say that like I said before my life is like a Forrest Gump story in so many ways you know coming all the way from from New York and landing in, the, in this place 
and this dog being available is like a dream came true in the very down moment of my life and I was holding on to my dogs, that dog Macho Wantam winner became available. And I created Awesome Buck. And when I created Awesome Buck, we became the brand. And just they didn't know it yet. But with time I was gonna prove it. And the truck loads of merits kept on coming, kept on coming. We left the United States, we conquered the world. We, we, we were amazingly all over the world. It's all history now. It's in the rear view mirror in history. But we created something. And then, so when Mayday was gone, his kids tried to make some noise, but they didn't have the people that had him. They didn't have the ability to create this beautiful thing. And I was holding something that I called the golden vein. It was coming from these Fletcher Chavez, the Teal Dogs, Fletcher Chavez, Fletcher Chavez, Carl Cruz and, 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 and David Tan and Mr. Burns coming down this way. And then Hollies were this way, Mayday. Then Blondie, it comes to Macho, Macho to Cheyenne, it creates awesome buck and the golden vein. It's a golden vein, it's a big mountain where there is spots of, 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 of small, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, uh, nuggets of gold. So you get a guy that, boom, got a great dog, but there's no vein that continues with greatness. And I saw this golden vein in May Day, but it was not everything back got destroyed. And I said, from this point going forward, I will preserve this and it will be called the golden vein. So I continue going in this direction, creating the golden vein and building merit. So it was not a matter of opinion, it became a matter of fact, undeniable global elite dogs and the grand champions and the, and the clusters. May they came from a cluster. And so was yellow came from a cluster. And he was Chico, young Chico Lopez looking to create clusters. And, and that happened. Clusters came out of my own breedings and he became one man. And it just took time for, for people to actually like, oh my God, this guy did all this. And who, who, who else has, has done anything like that? Traveled the whole world. Well, nobody. And he has nobody. You and anybody else? Four dogs of the year? No, four times dogs of the year. Haven't seen anything like it. And he became that. But May Day. Obviously, uh, it was an asteroid. Everything that I created was not possible without Mayday. Now, are all Mayday dogs equal? No, they're not. Macho was above everybody. Awesome Bug was above everybody. And the Golden Vein is above any other bloodline by a single man in history. Thank you.